This is Louise Healy. She's on our Stampendous design team and she's in the Stampendous booth today at CHA demonstrating for us the double glitter technique using Dreamweaver stencils. So, hello Louise. How are you? Oh, you're not using Dreamweaver stencils. She's going to use Fran's stencil oh, duos this I'm, morning. I'm focusing this morning on the duos. So That's I'm wonderful. Happy. So we're excited to see what she, come, what she brings to the table with the duos because Louise is our go-to artist for fancy <laughs> designs. All right, so. Okay, so I'm going to show you her glitter thing. Hi, Louise. Hi, good morning, Laura. I'm using um, one piece of a duo set so that to show you that you can use them together or individually like you would any normal stencil. So I'm going to do a double glitter technique. And to start, I have my um, stencil, my double-sided mounting paper cut to the same size as my stencil. And I have a mat cut just a little bit larger than, um, than the paper. So the first little trick is to get your double-sided paper onto your mat evenly. So I take just a little bit of the release paper off. I have all of this that still has release paper on. I set it down, line it up along three sides, and then all I have to do is push it down like that and it's lined up nicely. And we're using the Dreamweaver double-sided adhesive paper, not the sticky panels from Stampennis. They're a little too sticky Correct. for this technique. Correct. And the difference is, and you'll see, is that this has adhesive on both sides with a white piece of paper in between the layers of adhesive. And that um, helps your glitters stay true to color. I like to take my paste spreader and just really burnish it down to make sure I have that adhesive uh, nicely on the paper. Next, I'm going to prepare my stencil, and to do that, I take my stencil, place it copy right side down, take Versamark, sorry, okay. Versamark ink, and just a finger dauber, and I'm just going to go put a nice coat of Versamark on all the back side of my stencil. Awesome. Versamark and the Dauber are both from Imagine Crafts Sukaneko and you can get them on their website. Versamark's on our website as well. Okay, so I just want to make sure I have no shiny surface and if I look at it from the side I can see that I've pretty much coated. I still have a little shininess right here. So I'm just going to dab on that. Because anywhere with no ink will... Will stick. <laughs> so the, the Versamark <laughs> is, is acting as a release agent and that's going to allow us to get the stencil back off the sticky paper. Alright, so now I'm going to take... This and time I have to take all the release paper off. Just as importantly as getting it back off the paper is getting it back off the paper without bending it. Bending so it's it. really important to us to have a good release agent that makes it easy for the stencil to come off the paper because you don't want to bend right. your stencil. That's a, that's a naughty thing. No. So, and you can see now when I take this off, this is the trickiest part of the whole thing. Mm hmm. I think peeling stickers is one of the trickiest parts of life right now. You know, you have so many things you need to peel stickers <laughs> off of. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So we have all of this um, sticky paper exposed, and you don't want to touch it too much with your hands. So I'm going to take my stencil that I prepared, Versamark side down, and I know that it's cut to the same side as my stencil, so I can line it up on an edge, a couple of edges. Let it drop. Now, this to me is probably the most important step in the double glitter technique. Take a piece of the release paper and press that stencil down to the sticky paper. And what that's going to do is going to make sure your stencil is down nice and tight to the sticky paper and you won't have glitter bleed underneath. So this is... And you don't want to do it with your finger because if I had been working with some of our powders or anything, I could have powders on my finger. Well, then you'll make there. places where the glitter won't stick as well. Correct. Correct. So this is our gorgeous teal. Oh, I love that. Teal, teal micro, micro glitter. Micro glitter. <laughs> love the micro glitter. It's one of my faves. So I'm, I'm just going to do this all one color. So I'll, I'll first just coat the whole thing. You could use your little spoon to add color in tiny areas. You can also use your Picasso to shield areas you don't want to color. So if you're just doing like red flowers with green leaves, it's easy to get that delineation. All 
right. So many options in this technique. I could have made my butterflies pink or yellow and the dragonflies this sure. beautiful teal color. Depends how much time you want to take on it. Right. <laughs> So I'm, I am going to, because this is micro glitter, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to put just a little bit of extra on right now. And then again, I'm going to take a piece of the release paper and I'm going to rub this micro glitter down into those openings. You, you have to rub the um, ultra fine as well, but not as much as the micro yeah. fine. And this is a really important step because when you pour it off, you don't want blank spaces that are going to absorb the other color she's going to use later. So we want to be sure that we've got everything covered thoroughly and sticky with the teal. So I'm going to give it a little tap. And then I'm just going to take a soft brush and I can use... A, a nice clean stencil brush and just brush a little bit more of that extra glitter off. Aren't we funny? We get this whole huge jar and we hoard every grain. <laughs> Absolutely. <But> it's like <laughs> well, part of why you want to get as much of the extra glitter off as possible is once we remove the paper from the stencil, um, if there's too much glitter on the stencil itself, it can jump onto your background. Sure. So we want to get all that off. So I've got that. Let me put this back. Okay, so now, if you heard me a minute ago, I said remove the paper from the stencil because we don't remove the stencil from the paper because you could bend your stencil. We remove the paper from the stencil by turning it upside down, taking a corner, peeling back and walking your fingers along and then you have your gorgeous little image and then yeah that's the ooh the ooh shine. The ooh -ah is coming it's not the ooh ah <laughs> that's just the ooh <laughs> so now I could this is dangerous what I'm doing <laughs> should have brought you more spoons that's okay this is the crystal micro glitter this is the crystal micro -glitter. but you could do this with a different uh, a different size of glitter. The outside one could Absolutely. be a different, not glass glitter wouldn't really work so well for this technique, but you could use any of the ultra fines or the pearls or any of those would look really pretty. The ultra fines are, are gorgeous. They give a little more dimension. This gives you that more velvety yes. feel. Love the micro glitter. The micro glitter. I do want to a new paper. I do want to rub this down a little bit too because it is the micro glitter to make sure I get that nice. Coating. And the nice thing is, is, is you feel like, uh oh, it's going to stick to the teal, but it won't. The teal comes through beautifully. And there you have. So let's see. Can you see how amazing that is? I hope so. It so, is such a gorgeous technique. Such just gorgeous incredible. Technique. So your duos can be used just like a normal stencil. You just like single. Get a two for. <laughs> that's right. So that's awesome. Well, thank you, Louise, very much for You're sharing welcome. the double glitter technique with us. It's so easy. It looks so exciting and complicated when you see the actual cards, but now we know we can do this. Easy peasy. Awesome. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right. Thanks.